Hello friends, welcome to Anirban's World of Digital Finance powered by s hana and this is Anirban here and today we are going to discuss about reconciliation account, uh, how to configure the reconciliation account in s hana uh, So this would be our 12th video and with this uh, let's start uh, sharing my screen. Right, so this is the Excel file that we have discussed before as well. Um, so this is our, as I mentioned before that this is a ready day corner come blueprint come notes file. So this is uh, our 12th session and uh, this is of uh, S4HANA PICO where we are going to create reconciliation account. Uh, for And when I say reconciliation account, I would be uh, creating trade receivables and trade payables account. This is the menu path which I am going to uh, show during, in the, during the demo and this is the end user type. The T code is FS00 and as I mentioned, this is expense account uh, and uh, sorry, it has not been changed. So it is it is a uh, trade receivable account. Sorry, it is a uh, trade receivable and trade payable account. All right. So before I go to the SAP, let me see you discuss about what we mean by reconciliation account and what are the use of that reconciliation account. So as you mentioned that this reconciliation account is, you know, tagged with the customers and vendors and all the entries that is put in the customers and vendors is automatically posted in the in the respective trade receivables and trade payables account so that, you know, it ensures that the GL account balances is always zero all right um so that's briefly about a reconciliation account and uh, this excel sheet uh, would be you know uploaded in youtube and uh, and the links would be uh, at uh, would be at uh, uploaded as well for each one of the videos so that you can go in, in and and uh, refer to this excel file all right so with this i'm going to sh going to uh, log into sap I hope I would be able to log in here. Yeah. Right. Okay. And this time I will go to FS00. I'll use FS00 because I have showed the menu path several times before. And I will change uh, the to company code which is uh, HKNM. HKNM stands for Hakuna Matara. Could you play change? No. All right. In that case, uh, I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes. Um, change company code HKNM. And then if I Give me a moment. Let me go to the balance sheet uh, blueprint and see what I'm going to configure for trade receivables. So it is 15000. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to create it in HKNM. All right, here we are. So HKNM is Hakuna Matata. And as I mentioned before, that uh, the for S4 HANA, the all the uh, you know like the names that we are creating uh, are, are are inspired by the character names of uh, Lion King, which is one of my favorite movies. So HKNM is a country code which is Hakuna Matata, uh, Hakuna Matata, and then so okay, so let's go. So this is a balance sheet account, and an account group would be a reconciliation account. So ready for input because this is a reconciliation account. Now the short text would be. Uh, what I mentioned here is trade receivables account. So I can copy paste it directly from here. And I can type it here as well. Okay. Now for group account number, I will select I will select trade uh, receivables account. Now I'll go to the controls data. In controls data for tax category, I will select all tax type, which is plus, sorry, which is uh, only uh, uh, star. 
and then uh, recontact this is also very important so this is a trade receivable so it would be uh, you receive the receive the amount from your customers right so so you select the customer if you don't select this then it would be a regular account uh, short key you can use 0002 then going to the create bank account and then i will take the reconciliation account type so reconciliation account would be g067 so that's it that's these are the few things that you need to do to uh, to to create your trade receivable account and you save okay here your trade receivable account is created now the next thing that i am going to do is create a trade payables account and let me refer to my blueprint and see what is the number range that I have selected for trade payables account. This is the number range. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create, copy this and uh, paste this. Okay. Now, if I go back, everything remains the same. I will have to change the name here. I have to make it as payables. Now I go to the group account number, I will select trade payables. Mm. So this is my trade payables account. I go here and I'll change this. So I pay to vendors, right? So I'll have to select the vendors and the rest will remain the same, right? So this uh, saved my work because I am I'm, I'm using the data which has already been updated for the trade receivables and only customizing it for the trade payables. So I'm done with all the updates and now I'm going to post it. So I have now created the trade receivables and the trade payables. So this is how we create the reconciliation account. So I believe that you uh, like my video and if you like the video, please you know like uh, click on the like icon and share it with all your friends so that everybody gets benefited from this video and uh, if you are yet to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thank you bye